Scientists at Keele University in Staffordshire think they found a way one day to make electronic devices such as televisions and mobile phones flexible. They say their work could eventually provide a cheaper alternative to traditional silicon technology. Well, our science correspondent David Gregory Kumar is here to tell us more. What exactly have the researchers done then, David? Well, Nick, we've been playing around with this. This is a ball of 60 carbon atoms, uh, and it's actually exactly the same sort of structure as traditional football, which is appropriate for the World Cup. And what the researchers at Kiel have been doing is to give this ball of carbon atoms a long tail of even more carbon atoms. Now this makes a liquid, but with a few chemical tweaks, you can change all that. You start playing then around with the structure of these bits here, um, you can actually then make much larger assemblies too. So we can form things like uh, molecular gels, which are, they contain fibers, um, which are maybe sort of tens of microns, so roughly about the same thickness as my hair. Um, but within that sort of hair strand, as it were, or gel fiber, um, you've got lots of C60 columns, basically. And here's Dr. Hollenby in his laboratory creating some of this gel. Now, if we look at it under a microscope, we can see some of these new fibers inside the gel itself. And if you tweak the chemistry a bit more, well, you can start to create regular sheets of these carbon balls and tails. And what you get is a material that's flexible and also conducts electricity. In fact, this behaves pretty much like silicon. Silicon is, is so fantastic as an electronic um, in electronic circuitry, um, but still yet we're reaching the limits to what silicon can do. And so we need to look to other materials. And I'm not saying that this molecule itself is going to offer the, the alternative to that material, but um, I think that the method of assembling this molecule is, is, is quite important in that respect. Now this is a promotional video which features made up but exciting looking bendy TV screens of the future. To make stuff like this a reality, well you're going to need flexible screens and flexible electrical components. And this new chemistry from the University of Kiel opens up exciting new ways we could one day make the materials for a future bendy television or mobile phone. Nick. David, thanks very much indeed.